If you're looking to buy a HP printer from Matsura, well, 76 Projects did exactly that. And we're gonna find out about the service that they've received. So Paul, thank you for this. You've got a new investment, congratulations. Um, but there are lots of vendors out there. So why did you go for the HP printer through Matsura? Um, so we knew Matsura's background was heavily in CNC. Um, we'd spoken to them over probably two plus years. Oh, really? Because um, we were really wanting to get this machine. We were looking at every other machine and process on the market, and we kept on coming back round to HP. And for the information Matsura was giving us, was filled us with lots of confidence. So what, let's talk about what you're making really briefly, and then how it fits with your business. We are predominantly making parts for bicycles. Um, we make parts for our own, our own products ourselves, and we make products for other people. Um, it's all using the material PA12, and like I said, they're all going to the cycling industry. So what, what is it Matsura have done then that have really helped you as part of the journey? So before we had the machine, we, we grilled them constantly <laughs> to try and find out you know, it, if it was going to be cost effective for us. Um, being just the two of us, this was a massive investment for us. Mm. Um, but having used the process, subbing the process out and using other similar processes like SLS, uh, we, we knew MJF and the HP system was mm. the right thing for us. Having had the machine now, we've, we've learned very quickly how user-friendly it is and how easy it is to use. And so have Matsura helped you with that side of things as well? The, yeah. the, the controls and everything, how yeah. you use They've it? They've been really, really, really helpful, uh, really hands-on. We had a week of training. They installed the machine. They ran us through how to run the machine. We did a few calibration uh, tests, going through the machine, getting parts out showing us how to control the quality, and that's a lot to do with the prep, the build, nesting the parts, and how to treat it, and how to also see if the part uh, quality is degrading, how to get around it. Um, right, okay, so kind of future-proofing as well yeah. as working on it today. And in terms of projects, you're also using them. Would I be right in saying subcontract-wise or not? I don't know, but you, they're also making parts for you as well because there's a young lad there who's worked on the machines. Yeah. He knows the machines yeah. and he knows the competition too. Yes, yes. So uh, Ross at Matsuro has been instrumental in helping us use the machine. We are very keen to use the TPU material that HP offer. We're not quite ready there with the setup we have. Yes. Um, but uh, Matsura are helping us doing a, using a subcontracting service to, to make some TPU parts for us. So they're assisting you with making other parts, but you're, you know, and, and just briefly, the batch sizes that you're working on, where's your niche? <laughs> it does vary a little bit, but if this, this particular product we're using is, would make up a full build. So of those parts, there are about 120, 200 parts. So you're not looking build. at making the thousands? Where our products are and what our products for the people really are using that perfect kind of volume niche. So it's not high volume which goes into injection moulding and it's not bespoke products. So we want to try and hit that in that little sweet spot, which really suits additive manufacturing and really suits the HP machines. So you're happy with your machine? Absolutely, yeah. And what, what is it then, would you say, that Matsura do and specialise in that have really given you a great service and that you'd recommend to others and why? It's, it's the confidence that they give you the, the level of service we get, you know, we're on a very much one-to-one -one service. I can text Ross, I can text, you know, Peter, it, yeah. email them. They're, they're on the end of a phone really quickly if we have any problems. Um, and usually those problems are, you know, user, user-led. Yes. So things like, oh, I can't, this isn't working. Why is this not working? It's got a warning coming up. Oh, have you checked the lids closed? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah, stupid yeah. Stupid things like that. So. And that's the kind of hand-holding process that they give us, really. I and mean, I mentioned myself and Rob come from not necessarily a full engineering pro uh, background. background. You know, okay. We've ne we never had our own workshop before, so it's a, 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 a very steep learning curve for both of us. So mm. wow. it's, it's been great for that. So a very happy customer <laughs> here, a very happy customer, using machine and technology that is in its early stages, but you feel super confident with the service and the support that you're getting yeah. from Matsura and the HP brand. Yes.